Today, we search the internet for Minecraft's greatest hacks. From crazy water defenses to taming the warden. These are 20 Minecraft things you need to know. Grant, everyone knows that conduits can help you breathe underwater. Yeah, okay, and? Well, what a lot of people don't know is if you fully max out the stuff around the conduit, it can actually attack hostile mobs all around it. There's no way. Watch. Oh, it, the Guardian it just, just took it. damage. Yeah, it's taking damage, and it does, I think, two hearts per hit to them. I did not know this was a thing. Putting one of these by the monument is going to be super helpful because it can keep you safe and keep you breathing. You know, this is actually pretty neat. Yeah, how neat is that? Alright, Bird, do you see this campfire right here? No, Bran, I don't see it. How of do you not I see, see it, it Okay, Bran. Okay. Of course I see it. Okay, I don't need your attitude, but did you know that these have unlimited fuel for cooking food? Oh, this would be really good if you're low on resources. That's what I'm saying. And did you know that if you put a hay bale under one, it makes the smoke way higher? There's no way. Wait, let me see. Wait for it. It's definitely going way higher. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, that's definitely higher. And I have one more thing for campfires. You can put them out by right-clicking them with a shovel. There you go. This would be sick. You could use these to, like, build a bridge. This kind of looks like a railroad track to me, not a bridge, but I could see you making a bridge, too. Or you could literally just use the actual rails they have in the game. Bren, you know how shulkers are always so annoying and they give you levitation if they hit you? Yes, I don't like these things at all. Well, there's an easy way around that. You just break one of these and bring the chorus fruits in with you, and when they hit you, you, when you're floating in the air, you can literally just eat a chorus fruit and you'll TP back to the ground so you don't take a ton of fall damage. That's actually the most OP thing ever. Yeah, I can't believe it took me this long to find this out. I no longer fear you, stupid little shulker. You're trash, kid. You're trash, kid. Get good. Bran, watch out, watch out! Oh. Why would you hit me into the lava? Uh, okay, well, no, it's a good Bran. thing I have these fire-resistant potions on me, which is something that you should always have there, Boyer, because look at me. Well, I didn't have one! Well, see, and that's why you should have fire res. Boom. Yeah, Bran, I definitely learned my lesson there. You know what? That's what you get for knocking me in the lava. Bran, you remember how I tried to make an aquarium with leaves last time? Yeah, I don't believe that that's ever going to be a thing. Well, I realized I was just doing it wrong. What you have to do is you put jungle leaves or mango roots here, put ones above it with water in them, and then you place them below and they get stuck in the top ones. And then you can just get rid of these. And look, they are stuck in there. It's an aquarium. They're actually stuck? I did not think that was actually a thing. Wait, they're kissing. Look at them. They're kissing. They're in love. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Have you ever gone mining and completely ran out of inventory space? All the time, especially when I use fortune. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So see this redstone right here? You mine it with fortune. Boom. It's just five redstone, right? It takes up a lot of space. Uh huh. But if you go ahead and use silk touch instead, you can mine all of this stuff and it saves a ton of space. That's actually true. I never really thought about it like that. And this even works in the nether with these gold here. You can mine this here instead of using the fortune and getting the nuggets. You can take it and put it in a furnace. Okay. Like this and then as it smells, wait and see. Boom. You get a oh. gold ingot instead of a nugget. Wow, bro. I'll actually hand this one to you. That's actually pretty smart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brandy, you know you can set waypoints on maps with banners? No, I did not know this. Right click the map with it. It puts the banner on the map here. Look. See? And if you name the banner, the name will actually show up on the banner as well. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I might have to actually start using this on all my survival worlds more often. Yeah, if you mark it on the map, that would make it a lot easier for me to find your base and steal all your diamonds. Bren, if you do that, I will literally ban you from the server. No, no, you can't do that. You wouldn't, Bran, you wouldn't. Bran, are you serious? What did you just ban me? No, because if I ban you, then you can't ban me. See, problem solved. Bran, what are you wearing? Oh, this is my new hat. What do you think? It's ugly. It's stupid and ugly. Well, there's a good thing about that. If you don't like the design on it, you can take it over here to a cauldron that has water in it, right click, and boom, it takes the design right off. Look at that. Oh, and it lowers the water in the cauldron too. Bran, most people, when they're fighting the ender dragon, they're scared to have these end crystals blow up right next to them, but you really don't need to be scared because there's a secret. Oh yeah? What's the secret then? Well, ender pearls do slight bit of damage to whatever they hit, so if you hit the crystal with the pearl, it'll blow the crystal up and you'll only take damage from pearling. Watch. Boom. I, I only took like two hearts. Let me see on this one. Boom. Oh, it actually worked. Yeah, I only took two hearts. Dude, this is so easy. Yep, two in a row. I am Katniss Everdeen. I missed. Oh gosh. Oh no.
All right, have you ever used a lodestone before? Uh, never. I don't even know what that is. All right, let me go ahead and craft one. It's one netherite ingot in the middle, and then you're gonna surround it here with chiseled stone bricks. Boom, lodestone. Okay, what does it do? You can put your lodestone right in the middle here, and then right-click it with your compass, and now I have this one, which is a lodestone compass, and it's gonna track to this build wherever I go in the world. I'm proud of you for actually doing research this time. Ew, brain, you look so ugly in your stupid leather armor. Dude, I actually look super good, okay? Well, I'm glad you're wearing that because leather armor actually has a purpose for once. There's no way leather armor is useful in any way. Leather armor can keep you warm in the snow. There's no way. There is way, Brand. There is way. See? I'm not freezing. And if you put the boots on, they're like snowshoes. You can actually climb out. Who knew leather armor could actually be useful for something? Brand, let me up! No, this is my snow tower. Let me up! No! Brand! No! No! Brand, guess what? I'm guessing what, and I have no idea. You can actually quote-unquote tame wardens. I would love to have a warden as my pet, you know? If you have a silk touch hoe and you mine two skulk sensors here. Okay, this is already getting interesting. And find the warden. Where are you at, buddy? Oh no, I hope you know what you're doing. Otherwise, we might be dead. Oh, oh, he's spawning. Brand, oh, run, run over here, run over here. We place these one block apart, okay? And you put a trap door in between and look, whenever the skulk sensors go off, it opens and closes this, making noise to distract the warden. Oh, shoot, Brand, why'd you hit him? I gotta get oh. him to come over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he doesn't hear this. He doesn't hear this. He doesn't oh, hear no. this at all. Oh no. Oh. And look, wait, he's gonna hear it. They hear this, look. They're getting distracted by it. They both went right to it. And they're gonna be stuck on it forever now. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, we tamed the warden successfully. We only died once each, that's fine. We can easily get around here now. All the loot is mine, stay away from it. Did you know that there's an increased chance that they'll have a beehive on them if there's a flower next to them? Wait, really? Yeah, so let's go and see if we can get one of these to have a beehive, okay. No beehive, no beehive. No beehive. Oh, it worked! It's it's still a low chance, but it's still better than having to forage through a whole forest to find maybe one or two. I love me some unlimited honey. Me too. It's sweet, just like you. I'm running away from you. Brand, come back. Brand, Brand come away. back here. Brand, I bet I can beat you mining through this mountain. I highly doubt that. I'm a right, way faster I'll even miner. Head start. Ready? I'm Go. going. Oh, my little secret here. Oh, yes. I'm so far ahead of you. Uh, Brand, I'm literally catching up already. How are you going so fast? Brand, I'm literally so much quicker because I'm going one by one, not a two by one. Oh, so this is how you're cheating. Okay. Yeah, you can use a trap door or a water bucket to get down here like this. That's actually really smart. And I'm so far ahead of you already. I ran into dirt now. I, I think I give up. That's what I thought. Loser like always. Alright, normally I use chests for my storage, but I might start using barrels. If you put this down, it uses less wood to craft than a chest, and it has the same storage space. And if you put a block over it, you can still open it. Oh, this is actually really good for, like, storage in tight areas. I like this. Yeah, this is really good. I might start using barrels more often. Brian, what do you think of the house I just built? I'm so proud of it. This is honestly the ugliest house ever. I'm not super impressed. Let me just, uh... Joke's on you. Any wood from the nether is fire resistant. So if you want to build around fire with wood and not have it burned down, you can use these types of wood. Or if you just have untrustworthy friends, you can build out of this because I knew you were going to try and burn it down. Yeah, well, it might be uh, fireproof, but I don't think it's TNT proof. No, no, Bran, Bran, no, no, no. Oh. All right, did you grab the coal ore like I told you to? Yes, I grabbed the coal ore like you told me to. Okay, good, good. Go ahead and throw that in your furnace right there, and I'm going to okay. put my coal block in here because I want to show you how much more efficient one coal block is compared to all nine of your coal ore. Wait, Brent, I think you're right because one coal ore smelts eight. So nine coal will smelt 72 of anything, whereas one coal block, which is nine coal, which can smelt up to 80 of something. So yeah, it's eight better. Brent, did you do that lighting to keep mobs from spawning? it works differently now? No, I did not. Light level used to have to be seven and above for mobs to not spawn, but now it just has to be above zero lighting. When you're strip mining, you only have to put torches 24 apart because torch light reaches 12 blocks before there's zero light compared to how it used to be, which is a lot shorter. That's going to save me a lot of torches. I'm not going to lie. Normally, I ignore tough like in caves. I don't normally mine it. Do you? No, never. I never do. Exactly. But you might want to keep an eye out for it because some 
sometimes like what I'm standing on right now will happen where there's just a ton of iron or copper in it. There's so much iron. Yeah, you, you really just hit the gold mine, even though it's iron. Brain, you can set your spawn in the nether. How do you do that? Well, since beds blow up, they have something else that you can craft. You take six crying obsidian and then glowstone and it makes a respawn anchor. A respawn anchor? I've never even heard of that. Boom, look how cool that looks. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. And to use it, you take glowstone and right click it and you see this little golden thing here? Yeah. Every time you click it with glowstone, it adds another and you can get up to four charges on it and you can die up to four times in the nether. And then if I just jump off here, uh oh, I respawn here. That is actually really cool. Yeah, I know. I'm actually going to start using this for once. All right, I have one more thing that's a lot cooler for you, okay? Oh, is this a bonus one? Yeah, it's a bonus one. It's that if you subscribe and like the video, you will find unlimited diamonds.